Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how I hitch the Airstream to my Raptor. So now we're going to, you know, lift up the stabilizer jacks. So I just used the tool that came with the Airstream and I lift it up. Lift it up until it stops. And you can see down there how it's lifting up. All right, so you make sure that all four are up before you hitch because once I hitch I may have to lower it and I don't want to lower or raise the hitch while the stabilizer jacks around that's gonna damage my airstream here in the back bumper is very useful I store everything all right I'm gonna turn off the propane before we leave one of the most important things to do when you have the equalizer hitch which is what I have is lubricate it it reduces the noise and the wear this is where the sway control bar and the weight distribution bar inserts on these sides and this moves this can move when you turn and if you don't put lubricant, this will sound like things are breaking. Even if they're not breaking, it'll sound bad. So you want to lubricate up here, down here, even down here, and down there. On the manual, it says for you to clean this off. I, I just put more on it. So I just put a little bit of blue here, a little bit of blue there. Both sides, a little bit of blue here, a little bit of blue there. Even in here. Even in here. And then on the bottom, it's very important they say. Down here, down here, down here, down here. Anywhere where this thing's gonna move. There's bolts that hold this. This is about a 60, I think a 60 or 65 pound foot pound foot of torque. The bolts are down here. So these bolts need to be tightened because you don't want this too loose or too tight. You want it to be able to move, but also not fall off. It requires 320 pound foot of torque. Not every torque wrench can do that. I had to go to a shop and they were able to double check it. All right. And it did move a little bit. It was like a quarter turn that I needed. So I got those tightened up. And then this is ridiculous. This I was not able to check. This is like 450 pound foot of torque or something crazy like that. And, and, and it's very hard to get to. You have to like take this all apart to get to it. So I wasn't able to do that. I'm going to back up the truck now. All right, so here the backup camera really comes in handy. You can see the little line. When I turn the line, it turns. The dotted black line, you want to get it right in the middle of that hitch, and it's usually pretty accurate. All right, as you get closer, you want to make sure that the ball doesn't hit the hitch. So now we can lift this up so that that doesn't hit. So let's lift it up a little bit. All right, that's just enough so you can slide under. Now we're going to lower down the hitch onto the ball. It should come down smooth and then at some point you're going to lower this and that way it clamps on. Okay, clamp on. And you just put it through the little hole and that way, that way this will never lift up. It is always going to be clamped onto the ball. All the way in, there's a hole here put this clip in there you can do the clip from the outside in or inside out whatever you prefer so you put this in here and here there's a clip you just put it in I put it in all the way so now it's clipped on same thing on the other side now and you want to make sure it's give you clearance here because this is gonna start lifting up and you don't want it to hit this so if this was not you can pull it out or push it back in however you need to this is enough clearance for me right now clips on and I have the clearance here so this is the way they installed it at the dealer and this is the way it says it in the manual to do it you can put the bars on here but it's gonna be kind of tough so I want to lift up the bars so I don't have to lift up too much too much with this lever so I'm gonna lift up the car to do that I need to put more uh, leveling blocks underneath the hitch so I can lift it up even higher all the way it's on the Raptor I put four of these things to, so that I can get this jack up high now that it's hitched up I can remove the chocks You can see the suspension my Raptor right now. That's the way it is without weight distribution. So it's actually not that bad. The Raptor can handle the weight pretty good. This jack is going to lift up the back end of my Raptor. And these bars, you're going to see these bars over here. Look, they're probably getting higher and higher. So to put this on, I push it in a little bit closer. 
a little bit closer. Get this that comes with the equalizer hitch. Hook it on here. All right, make sure it's there. This helps you put this onto this. These are rubber pads that are an accessory. I put them on. This reduces squeaking. So now I'm just gonna lift this to this. Make sure you use your legs. That was actually fairly easy because I lifted up the rafter. If I didn't lift up the rafter, I'd be breaking my back. All right, this goes in like this. It clamps down, it's not gonna go anywhere now. This bar is done. Let's go to the next side. You wanna make sure this bar is in this curve. If it's not, push it in a little bit. Okay, all right. Here. This is a stock suspension Raptor. It doesn't sag on a 23 FB Airstream with the weight distribution hitch. Without the weight distribution hitch, it will sag. All right, so it's, it's all the weight is on the Raptor now. The suspension is still pretty good. It's not sagging at all with the weight distribution hitch. And there's a stock suspension. All right, so now I'm gonna put the chains. You put the chains, you cross the chains, all right? So let's cross the chains. Make sure they're fully engaged. Why do you cross the chains? Why not just straight? It's a basket. If for any reason this breaks, this whole contraption will fall on this and the chains will hold the whole trailer and it'll keep this from hitting the ground. Supposedly, it'll carry the trailer. It's a little safer to cross them than to straighten them. So that's why we do the cross. It's a little, it creates a little basket. All right, make sure you put it in. There's a slot there that goes in the bottom for this car. And then this, the brake, emergency brake controller basically. If for any reason, all this disconnects, this is connected to my car, this will pull on this. This will pop out, it'll engage the brakes so that the trailer doesn't pass you on the turnpike. I have it on a little clip, just easier to engage. A little clip, it's right there. And that is how you hitch up the Airstream Flying Cloud with the equalizer weight distribution hitch to a Raptor. So as you can see, it's not too bad once you get a hang of it. What I did see is that weight distribution hitch does help a lot with the sag, so there's no sag at all. So comment down below, like, subscribe, thanks for watching.